Well, welcome to this week on Lake Erie Port of Call. We're outside. It's a little bit windy. We're getting ready. These little whippersnappers. Jacob, Jacob how you doing? Good. You ready to take? You're going to be taking your boat out. This is called the Pinky Cup, right? Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Let me see your boat. Is this your boat right here? Yeah. All right. And you're getting it all ready. You guys are going to be racing in a little bit, huh? Yeah. All yeah. Right. And I, you think you're going to do good? Yeah. All right, we're going to get these guys out here showcasing what they can do with their boats here on the Ottawa River. We'll also be talking with Jolly Rogers Sailing Club. And we've got the uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary on this week's show. We'll be talking a little bit about making sure you get a carbon monoxide detector in your boat. With everything that's happened in the last few weeks, it's definitely something you want to do. Guys, good luck. Hey, good luck, guys. They're getting them all ready here, and we're going to, hopefully, it's a little windy today, but it uh, hopefully we can get the drone up and show some of these kids and what they're going to be doing with uh, this great race that they've got here on the Ottawa River. This week on Lake Erie Port of Call. Well, folks, if, uh, if, if, if you ever listen to us on Saturday mornings, we do our little radio show. We're actually doing it down here at the docks here uh, over at uh, Brunner 75. They've got their kind of like an open house this weekend, and, uh, and we're, uh, you know, talking boats. There's a lot of new boaters out there and a lot of people that uh, uh, really want to know everything you need to know about boating. And we have these two wonderful young ladies here from the Coast Guard Auxiliary, and uh, they're going to be doing some, uh, uh, you want that golden blue sticker. The golden blue sticker is what you it's a vessel safety check. And these young ladies are going to talk a little bit about this. Kathy, we'll start off with you. Um, uh, with with all the new boaters out there, there's just a lot of people that uh, uh, maybe, maybe really need to look into talking to you guys about making sure things are right for their boat. Absolutely. The Coast Guard Auxiliary is... Our, our goal is recreational boating safety. We want to make sure that people go out, have fun, and come home safe. Right. And uh, we do that through public affairs, like chatting with you. Mm -hmm. we, we do public education courses. We have short seminar courses, an hour or two, or we have the eight-hour boating course that is required by state law to operate a boat. And then we have longer courses for those people really into wanting to know the nitty-gritty of uh, line handing, nav nav navigation, things like that. There's like a 12 hour long course. And then we do things like vessel safety checks, which um, uh, Becky's here doing um, at the marina that we're at. And uh, it's a free a exam, but uh, there's, uh, you know, basically we just want to come on the boat to then see, do you have everything you need right. that's required by federal and state law to, to keep you safe? And it's not, uh, you know, we're not law enforcement. We're not going to give, give you a citation if you don't have something. Uh, but if you do pass it, then you get the little sticker to put on your boat. Yes. Becky, what is the, the out of all of these, when you do these tests and, and you come out and you look at the boats, what is the one thing that seems to be the biggest, uh, uh oh, I'm sorry I don't have that. I'm betting it's fire extinguishers. Um, fire extinguishers I've been good at. Some need to go replace their flares. Um, actually, I've had some incidents where the nav lights aren't working and the owner unscrews the, the light and no bulb is there. Oh, so, wow. Um, it's just the real simple things. Right. And, and people just don't check. I mean, they're, they're so excited because it's a Friday night and we're going to get to go out on the boat, you know. And, you know, the first thing when I get my people on the boat, I show, hey, this is where the, uh, the the life jackets are. Yes. You know, um, if we have children on the boat, we make sure they have a life jacket on, you yes. know, before you even start. And I've been seeing that a lot this year. Mm -hmm. I, and that's one thing, folks, that really kind of scares me a little bit is when you see on these smaller 20, 
two 23-foot boats, and you see the kids out there that are maybe seven, eight, nine, ten, and they're not, they're not wearing. And they, I mean, that's by law they have to have it on, right. correct? Yes. Right. Uh, I, I hope that's something that we can maybe change some people. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put that on there. Now, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go on the boat. Uh, you'll, we'll, we'll be showing some of the stuff as you guys uh, did a check on my boat here. And uh, you're basically asking me questions on where is this, do you have this, and then make sure all the expirations in that are, are all good. And I hope, I hope all of my lighting works, too. I hope, I hope. <laughs> But uh, but when when you do these safety checks for people, I, I, I guess people don't realize just how uh, important and, and how good it is to have one of those blue stickers on your boat. Now, do you put that next to your registration on it, or do you put it inside the boat? No, uh, this is a decal that goes to the outside of the window, and it needs to be on the port side. Okay. It needs to be out of the helmsman's vision, so it's usually lower in the window, but... Uh, it's always located on the port side of the vessel. Even if a pontoon boat doesn't have a big helm station, we sure. figure out where to go because all local law enforcement, when they're looking for a vessel that has a current safety vessel exam decal, they're going to go to the port side of the boat. Very good, and, very good. And they don't look at it real close. Uh, we have to remember our law enforcement has their binoculars on oh. us. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't think of it. But it's gold. It may be blue, but that is gold. You, you want to uh, make sure you have that. And uh, we appreciate it. And I thank you for coming down and uh, checking out on my boat. And I'm sure my boat is a 30-year-old boat. I'm sure there's probably some things we need to look at. You know, I, I try, but uh, there's, you know, I, I'm sure that this will be here. I'm my, uh, I, I just got all of my new uh, flares last year, so I should be good on my flares. But I am buying that new one the new uh, the LED. the led one i'm definitely going to have one of them on our boat and we should have i think i have 12 or 14 life jackets on my boat so i think i'm really good that way right then too. and the thing with life jackets is it's not just having the right number it's having the right number that will actually fit the people that you have oh so if you have young children that come on obviously children have to have it wear it all the time um but even adults, you would need one that would, would actually be able to fit uh, well, the we'll, adults on your Well, we're going to find that out. We really appreciate it. And uh, if people want to get involved with the, uh, with the uh, Coast, Guard, Coast Guard Auxiliary and some of the programs, uh, is there a phone number or somewhere they could uh, go on, uh, on the website? Yeah, the, they could, uh, we're a national organization, so they could do the national website. That is cgaux.org. Oh, fantastic. Well, folks, this is kind of our setup when we do our radio show on uh, ESPN on uh, 100.7, and they were gracious enough to spend some time with us here uh, during our uh, during our show this morning, and uh, we're going to get working on this, uh, making sure my boat's in good good shape. So when we go out tonight, we're, we don't have anything to worry about, and we got that blue sticker on the boat. That blue sticker is better than me waxing my hull, I think. <laughs> yes. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 L E A K Seagate. 
Another sunny day by the water. But it only takes one bad decision to change the mood. Boaters operating under the influence of alcohol or drugs pose the same danger and face the same consequences as those operating a motor vehicle. They'll lose their license, face fines and insurance increases, and maybe even jail time. Impaired boating is impaired driving. There are better ways to spend a sunny day. Enjoy the summer on safer roads and waterways. Arrive alive. Drive sober. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. We're here at the Jolly Rogers Sailing Club up in Point Place with Neil Whitehead, who's a Commodore at Jolly Rogers. And uh, congratulations and a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. A little windy, I'm sorry. A little, little bit breezy for the smaller boats, but uh, they That's go out right. in this all the time and they always have a great time. Now, this is the Pinkley Cup for these kids. This is our second year of doing some uh, stuff with this. Explain exactly what they're doing here. Uh, they're going to have a regatta on the river here. Uh, it's run uh, by Ottawa River Yacht Club and ourselves. Uh, we have everything from small junior boats, the uh, Opti's, all the way up to the big uh, Catalina 22's. And, and this is something, you know, we're power boats, so it's you, you guys, you're, you're probably doing it the right way. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with the Jolly Rogers. I know it's their 75th anniversary. Right. And you got some big stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. This, this is our 75th anniversary. Uh, we have a big uh, regatta and event on the August 6th and 7th. Uh, on the Friday, we have uh, a beer tasting. Uh, ah, so like beer uh, tasting. So Ernest Brewworks are coming out to do a beer tasting. Um, we're having a boat decorating contest and a parade. Fantastic. And uh, we're having a live band out here on the Friday night. Fantastic. And then uh, Saturday, we have a regatta. Uh, it's going to take place starting around noon. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a big pig roast. Oh. Wow. And uh, then we're going to have our own in-house band. Uh, one of our own members uh, plays a band. And uh, in the evening, we're going to have a, a larger band uh, for the whole evening. Oh, fantastic. I know. 75 years here and and all I, I was walking through inside there and saw all of the commendations and all of the all of the great things and all of the great years and memories that you guys yeah. have there this is quite a quite a, a yacht club for this from, area from where we started with a small chicken coop on the on the edge of the river to okay. what we have now with the docks and the clubhouse it's been a, a long journey and it's a big improvement from where we started um, we specialize in the smaller boats and sailors starting out. Uh, we run a junior sailing program of which you see several of the junior sailors here tonight. Yes, definitely. And we run an adult uh, learn to sail program as too. So um, the first session of the adult learn to sail started a few weeks ago. Uh, we have about 30 people taking part in oh, that. Very nice. And very then nice. in August, we'll start the second uh, series because the first series was completely sold out. Fantastic. So our, our big push is to get as many new sailors involved in the sport as possible. Um, we provide uh, social membership for people that go through the adult uh, learn to sail program. And with that, they can attend all of the club events. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Maybe I'll do one of our shows here and we'll take one of these boats out and show a little bit about that how to would, sail. That would be great. I think that would be something good. We'll get Rick in there too. Rick and Rick right. can do it. Okay. Well, we, uh, we also occasionally run a fun event where we put uh, the adults in these little boats. Oh. Um, we call that yeah. our, big bo our big boats and little boats. Uh, Big butts in little boats. No <laughs> big butt here going in little boat. Now that I'm a pretty good swimmer, but it would just be my luck. But that uh, that's always a fun time to see the adults uh, being shown up by the juniors. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you for spending some time with thank us. Thank you. I think we're probably pretty close on our timing here. I'm looking forward to watching some of these guys out there and girls out there doing the uh, doing the boats and uh, real excited about that. Yeah, I think the races are due to start about seven o'clock. Fantastic. So, uh, 
Get the boats ready and uh, you'll see people getting out there uh, over the next few minutes and uh, everybody getting ready for the start. Well, folks, we're doing a lot of stuff over here in uh, Point Place today and uh, we're actually out in the docking area here at Ottawa River Yacht Club here and they've got the Pinkley races going on right now. And Mike, what do you think so far? You got a lot of people down here. Yes, this is awesome. That uh, It's a great showing and there's a lot of boats and kids out on the river today. It's the, the Pinkley Cup going 15 years in a row now and we're excited to be here. Well, I was a little nervous. I thought, wow, it was, we were looking at about 15, 20 knot wind there for a while, but it's kind of died down now, and we were able to get the drone up and get some real nice shots over here, and uh, so far it's just so much fun watching these kids, and I know they're competitive. They're doing a great job out there today. They, Like you said, they've got some wind to work with, and uh, they're picking up speed, and they're doing a good job. They're well, I'll tell you what. We, we, we Kevin here, he's the Commodore over at uh, Ottawa River Yacht Club. You got a big big monster thing going on this weekend. That's right, we got uh, a full weekend. Uh, Pinkley Cup uh, is a kickoff for our regatta Friday and Saturday night. We're gonna have live bands and uh, we're gonna have food trucks, uh, all kinds of things going on. You got everybody going crazy around here, huh? Yep. Uh, It'll show you, uh, you Commodores, they just kind of pushed you around there. Yeah, huh? yeah. You got you to go in the brig? Yeah, you got to learn to give and take a little bit when you do this job. So uh, it's not always take, take, take. So. Well, now what are these kids when they do this, uh, the, the Pinkley Cup? Is, is there a, they obviously get a cup then, correct? Uh, yep, I think everybody gets a trophy. Uh, we're going to get some food after this. And, uh, everybody wins you know so it's just a super good time and it's just so nice seeing all the good things coming out all of you guys you got all the ayc guys down here and they're all looking pretty good i mean they like come on guys you might as well get in here and say hi jeff was on last year where you were both on last year how you doing guys behind you how you doing very good. Glad very to be good. back. Glad to be back. Yep, yep. And it's a great day. It's just, you can't ask for better weather than this. It's fabulous. For a day that was supposed to be a rain out, it turned out to be a beautiful day. Well, you got Jay Crum, you've got uh, Jeff Upholzer, and you guys are with the AYC, per se, so all of the clubs in the area that. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That is correct. I, I'm going to be a member. I am. I am. You said that last year. I know. I am. I'm. Uh, <laughs> Pete Maxwell over at uh, Toledo Sailing Club, he he put a rubber bullet to my head and said, basically, I have to. We were UPS drivers together. I got to do what he said. But you really did. This is real nice. And you basically doubled the amount of people that were here last year. And uh, you got a really good turnout here. And uh, how long will this go then today? I have no idea. <laughs> you have to ask Kevin. I think it goes until around 9 o'clock. Very good. 7:45 right now. We probably will get done until about 8:30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. And those by an awards banquet. Oh, okay. Right immediately it. after, so the kids can uh, uh, reap the rewards. They reap the rewards. Well, I, it's really exciting, and it's nice seeing this. I was glad I was able. I didn't get a lot of footage up with the drone, but it, I got it up in the air. We got some footage out there, so I'm like, whew, feel a little better there. And guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Once again, I appreciate it, and uh, it's really good, good to, to be again. a part of all of what you guys are doing for sailing and boating in this area. And hey, folks, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Brandywine Country Club and the newly renovated Arthur Hills Championship Design Golf Course are now open to the public. Play 18 holes or enjoy a delicious meal at our restaurant. Our remodeled banquet room makes a great place to have your wedding or other events. And of course, we still offer memberships to get you full access to our fantastic facilities, including swimming pool, fitness center, and more. For a list of full membership benefits or to schedule a tea time, go to brandywinecc.com. 
hours I wasted all my days in a dream That's where I know you'll always be Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow, where we treat your yard as our own. Lawn care, landscape construction, landscape maintenance, hydro seeding, snow and ice management, residential and commercial, licensed, insured, trusted. Contact us today, 567-218-1915. 567-218-1915. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow. Geared up. I'm 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 totally geared up. We're geared up, are you? Get geared up at gearupsportswear.com. Well, we're here up in Point Place, invading the uh, the Summit Street locations here. And I got Matt Kalinsky. How you doing, buddy? Oh, good to see you, Mike. Good to see you again. I know you got a big you got a big uh, regatta coming up here next weekend. Yes, sir. J uh, July sixteenth and seventeenth, uh, five to midnight on Friday, four to midnight on Saturday. Um, like all the other clubs, it's our biggest event of the year. Um, we're looking forward to it after after you know putting things on hold last year with the pandemic, and we really hope to see the crowds out and have a good time like we like we're used to. Let me ask you this. We just had, it's Thursday night. We had a wonderful steak dinner. You've got a beautiful ribeye. You got a great New York strip. I had the New York strip. Phenomenal. Nailed it. Everything was good. I mean, is that just for just the boaters? Are you, or do you kind of open that up for everybody? Uh, it's open to RVYC members and their guests and also AYC, other members of the AYC and their guests. It is not um, open to the public unless otherwise noted. Uh, we do do some things during the year. We do some uh, breakfast on the weekends. In fact, the weekend of regatta, uh, the Saturday and Sunday, we do a breakfast then, and that is all. That is open to the public. But uh, typically, uh, when we have uh, the kitchen open Thursday through Sunday, or we do, you know, our Wednesday night burger nights, that's for uh, AYC and RVYC members and their guests only. Now, explain to us. I mean, what are some of the advantages? Because there's so many new boaters out there. I mean, it's just trying to figure out what they want to do. And not only do we have new boaters, we've got people that maybe had, you know, 18 or 20 footers, and all of a, all of a sudden have gone into a 29 footer or a 34 footer. And they, they really kind of need to know a little bit about how it all works. And, and it's very smart to get themselves involved with a yacht club. Absolutely. Um, I mean, all, of, all the clubs, I mean, I can speak for us uh, specifically. Um, there's an application process, there is an uh, initiation fee that goes along with that, and then you pay an annual dues for your membership. If you are a boater, uh, or a boat owner I should say, um, there's dock fees, we do have dry storage for uh, winter storage, fees associated with that as well. But once you're a member, it's a lot. It's a lot cheaper than what you'd be paying um, at one of the marinas uh, that aren't that aren't considered a yacht club as far as what costs go. It's one of the benefits of membership. Well, I know one thing too. With, you know, not not only you know, so many people involved in boating, and and if you have a problem, you know where to steer people. And if they if they you know if you hit a log because there's a lot of logs out there right now. And, and, and it's probably a good thing just from the plain and simple fact people will help you to become a much better boater. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's one of the first, uh, you know, in our bylaws, one of the first things that's uh, mentioned is we're here to promote fellowship amongst, uh, amongst members, amongst other boaters. So, um, like you said, there's a lot of people here who work on boats, so you know, there's a lot of resources as far as that goes. Um, people are always really good about, like you mentioned, the logs that are out there in the river or, or spots where people are picking them up. Um, that gets, information gets passed along through the club from other members who are out there. You know, everybody's always just looking out for one another, which is, which is great. Well, I really appreciate all you've done. Now, remember, next weekend, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, it's open to the public. You want to come here, it's just a great time, great food, great bands. Who are some of the bands you have? Uh, we're going to have the Red Carpet Crashers and M125. 
Uh, and actually on Thursday night, uh, we redo a, um, again, this is for AYC members uh, and their guests only, but we do uh, the auxiliary here. There's a Thursday night roast beef dinner, and we'll have Arctic clam here out on the uh, out on the deck. So got a full weekend planned. Looking forward to it. Well, I'm going to try and step down and say hi to a lot of people because I know everybody here, and you, you really do put a great one on. And after last year with COVID and everything, it's really nice that you're going to be doing it. Excited. Uh, and uh, we had a lot of fun with the it's the pinkley right okay they the kids racing over there and i don't know as i'm taping this right now i'm hoping i was able to put my drone up in the air and get some shots we got some shots last year we got some really nice shots last year during it but it's just eh, about 20 knot wind and it's just a little bit too much for me so but we do appreciate all that's going on here you got jolly roger right next door ottawa river yacht club is this weekend so they'll uh, they'll be rocking and rolling here too, and uh, we just want you to come out here and enjoy these yacht clubs. Get yourself involved with boating. Uh, you know, everybody really wants to help you out, and it's guys like this guy right here that'll help you and teach you a little bit about what you need to do to learn about all the good things with boating. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, you summed it all up right there, and that's. It's 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 hard to add anything onto that. I mean, you pretty much nailed it. So uh, well, I'm like the Bible guy of boating. They, oh. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. I don't want you to get you know too big of an ego on me here, Mike. But uh, yeah, I mean, you really, you really, really wrapped it all up there. Well, I've only knocked down two dock posts in the last three years, so I'm considering myself better than most. Yeah, <laughs> folks. Thanks for watching this week. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, I'd like to thank the Coast Guard Auxiliary for helping us out, and I've got all my stickers on my boat now, so that's a good thing. And I do want to say one thing before we go. You know, we were up on the river uh, for the fireworks this weekend. We got some beautiful shots. Rick and I, we were all out enjoying ourselves. My dear gosh, when you see all the boats that are either rafted off or anchored off, even though it's not a no-wake zone, please, please be careful. And uh, we had a lot of people that really weren't up on plane, but they were just going fast enough to really have a big, big wake and had a lot of boats that had some damage. And, uh, and then coming back at 11 o'clock at night with no lights on, full bore, and I think there were nine boats that wound up hitting things and uh, coming into Harrison's and stuff like that. So be careful out there. Go by the rules, do the rules. Captain Chris will be helping us out next week on the show. So just, you know, just want to say that. And uh, this is a beautiful area to boat, and uh, we just want to keep it going. Absolutely, and, and I think you kind of you touched on it there. But, again, the boating community, if you are new to it, there's always people you can reach out to. If you're unsure of yourself, always ask those questions. There it is. And, folks, thanks for watching this week. Uh, we'll see you next week right here on Lake Erie Port of Call. And, hey, by the way, we're on Facebook, and we've got all our stuff. Say hi to us, and if you have something that you want us to spotlight, just uh, give us give, give us a hoot on uh, on our Facebook site. We'll see you next week. Matt, thanks, buddy. Thanks again, Mike.